Hey guys, well in our first video we did the unboxing and assembly of the Pixel Stick and if you want to go out into the field and actually use it then you need some files, right? So in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can prepare some files to use with your Pixel Stick and uh, that said let's jump into Photoshop, here we go. Alright guys, well we're in uh, Photoshop and let's start by taking a look at the images that you can use in the Pixel Stick, okay? Now, I got in front of me a uh, simple rainbow, which is kind of a constant pattern. And if we go and look at the details here, just by going to uh, image size, you will see that if I go to pixels, this image is exactly 200 pixels in width. And that's what you need to keep in mind. Anything you create has to be 200 pixels in width, okay? Now, the height is fine. You can do whatever you want, basically. There are some uh, issues there that I need to explain, but we'll do that. So keep in mind 200 pixels, okay? Now here's another example where you see black in the background. Now anything that's black behind your image will show up as transparent when you do the light painting, okay? Now to start with, you want to have uh, some sort of image that already has some color into it. If I were to put, let's say, branches of a tree that are almost dark on a black background, you wouldn't see that, right? So uh, this has a high contrast, it's nice and white, and it looks good. So that's why I took this as an image. Now, how do you get those images? Well, uh, what I do is I go to Google and I search for PNG images because they typically have a transparent background, or you can take an image and cut out the background yourself and save it as a PNG, right? So I bring that in onto my black background here, make sure the width is 200, and then the height, that is something you need to look at as far as timing. Now I need to explain that. Uh, let me take another example here. Uh, let's take this American flag. Once I hit the fire button on my pixel stick and I start walking, uh, as soon as I hit that button, it's gonna start to project light out of the LEDs, right? So I don't have time to build up a consistent walking speed to get a nice and evenly spaced flag. Now, in case of the unicorn, I got a little black in front of the image and little black behind it. So I can start to walk, it will start projecting white, I will project my unicorn and it'll have some black uh, behind it, okay? So um, just to uh, recap there, uh, with 200, black background for transparency, uh, you can use consistent patterns like a rainbow or let's say an image like a unicorn, but keep in mind that you have spacing and front and in the back to allow you to you know, get a steady walking space, okay? So that is all there is to it. That's how you create those files. And next up, we're gonna look at how to uh, set up the controller. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, well, we have our uh, files created. So now it's time to have a look at the controller, okay? Now, first of all, what you want to do is you want to insert your SD card. Now, you're going to do that face down, so like this, and you're going to do that on this end right here. So let's do that. Make sure it clicks and it's secure. And then we're going to go to the top and we're going to activate the switch up here. Now, when we do that, it's going to test fire the LEDs on the back. It's going to open up and there's our main uh, menu, okay? So the top one in the menu is pretty self-explanatory. There you can select the file you want to use, okay? So that will uh, give you an overview of the files you created and put in your SD card. And you can take it from there. Now let's say you're in a very dark situation. You can adjust the brightness of the LEDs. And if you're in a very light situation, you can adjust them as well, okay? Now let's uh, look at the speed. The speed is basically the speed in which the image is displayed using the LEDs, okay? So for example, if you have a very short distance where you can walk and you have to display the full image, you can increase the speed. If you are not that fast, for example, you can decrease the speed. So what about countdown? Let's say you want a very consistent walking speed. So you set a countdown of two seconds, so you can start to walk and it will start firing after two seconds. Direction. Um, the way we have uh, set up our files is that they are going from left to right, but you can change that as well if you want to go from right to left. So the direction right now is set right to left as far as how you walk using the, uh, the pixel uh, stick. If you want to reverse that, you can do that. Now let's say you have an image file that is uh, directional sensitive, for example, like a flag. Uh, you can choose to flip the vertical position. So here you can adjust uh, the increments. 
You can set it to repeat if you want to repeat an image over and over and you walk for a, lo a longer distance. Let's say uh, the unicorn, let's say you want five unicorns in a row, you'll just uh, make sure that it's on repeat and keep on walking, okay? And it will record as long as your exposure time is set for your camera. And finally, we have some BMP info, okay? Well, that's basically all there's to it. The yellow button is uh, the fire button uh, when you actually activate it. So with that said, the next video is gonna be outside. We're gonna set up our camera. I'm gonna explain all the settings and we're gonna go out and use this guy, okay? See you there.